Good morning everyone. It's good to have our weekly devotion. And this morning I want to focus on some of Paul's words in Ephesians chapter 4 and 5. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 17, Paul said the following. He said, friends, from now on, please do not live like Gentiles. Please live like Christian people. And what's more, he actually started by saying, I say this under the authority or with the authority of Jesus Christ, saying, I am mandated to say, friends, please live in a different way. Please do not look like the world. Um, the world needs to see salt and light. The world wants children of God to live in a different way. And then in chapter 5, verse 1 and verse 2, actually, he starts by explaining how we should follow God's example. And then if you read the first 20 verses in chapter 5, he makes specific mention to three things in verse 2, in verse 10, and verse 20. The following is very important. Number one, he says, if Christian people want to live like Christians and look different to the world, they need to be people understanding a Jesus type of love. Meaning, they need to be able to love people one directionally, sacrificially, intentionally. Meaning, I love you for you, not for me. I don't want to get anything from you. I will keep on loving you, even if I get nothing back just for you. He says that's the first thing. The second thing um, in chapter 10, he writes about saying, listen, if you really want to make a difference, you have to be a people that ask yourself this question. Before you do anything, will this please God? And it is so clear to me if I read the word, you know, the new covenant is imprinted on our hearts. And every now and then, when you're in that moment and you have to do something, the first voice you hear is the voice of, of Jesus or the spirit within you saying no. And then we ignore the no and we just go with the popular vote. But if we ask this question, will this please, will this please God? I tell you now, Christian living is not so complicated. Listen to that first small voice. If it says no, don't go. Don't overstep the line. Be obedient to the unctioning of the Holy Spirit and life will be so much easier. If you cannot say with a convinced or a convicted um, heart that yes, this will please God, don't do it. Don't take the risk of your life. And then lastly in verse 20 he says, be people that thank God the Father always for everything, meaning he says, get yourself full of Holy Spirit, full of the Word, reprogram your brain, get trained eyes to always see the silver lining. Do not see crisis, see potential. Do not see hopelessness, see God in it and there is hope. See the silver lining because children of hope, children of Jesus should always have hope. And we have to train ourselves in this. So to conclude, let's be people with a Jesus kind of love. Secondly, let's always, you know, endeavor to please God. And lastly, let's thank God in all circumstances, meaning see the silver lining. Bless you. Till next week.